Imagine a world where the cradle of civilization becomes a ghost town. This is not a dystopian future. This is Europe, 2024. A chilling prospect indeed. But this is the reality we're facing. Europe, a continent once bustling with life, is witnessing an alarming decline in its population. The rate at which this is happening is unprecedented. It's like watching a sandcastle being slowly washed away, grain by grain. The numbers are stark, the implications profound, so what's driving this decline? Well, it's a cocktail of factors. We're seeing birth rates dropping like a stone, sinking to levels not seen in centuries. At the same time, mortality rates are on the rise. Add to this a steady stream of migration with many seeking greener pastures elsewhere, and you've got a recipe for a population crisis. Now, let's delve into the top 10 fastest dying countries in Europe. Starting our countdown at number 10 is Bulgaria. Known for its rich history and beautiful landscapes, Bulgaria faces a significant population decline due to emigration and a low birth rate. The allure of better opportunities abroad has seen a steady outflow of its younger generation, leaving behind an aging populace. Sliding into the ninth spot is Latvia. Like Bulgaria, Latvia grapples with a double-edged sword, emigration and a declining birth rate. This Baltic state is experiencing a brain drain, as its educated youth seek greener pastures elsewhere. At number 8, we have Hungary. While it boasts one of the highest standards of living in Eastern Europe, Hungary is not exempt from the demographic crisis. The country's population decline can be attributed to a combination of factors, including low fertility rates and a significant level of outmigration. Moving on to the next set of countries, brace yourself for more startling revelations. On to the next in line, at number 7, we have the intriguing case of Lithuania. Despite its stunning natural beauty and rich cultural heritage, Lithuania faces a significant population decline due to high emigration rates and low birth rates. Moving on to number 6, we find Romania. Struggling with economic challenges and a lack of opportunities, Romania sees many of its young and educated citizens leaving for greener pastures. This brain drain is causing an alarming decrease in the country's population. At number 5, we have the beautiful yet troubled Greece. The economic crisis that began in 2009 has had long-lasting effects, with a significant population decline due to low birth rates and high emigration rates. Each of these countries faces its own unique challenges in maintaining its population. As we delve deeper, the factors contributing to these declines become more complex and intertwined. As we climb higher on this list, the situation becomes even more dire. Entering the top four, we find Latvia, grappling with a significant population decrease due to emigration and a low birth rate. With a rapidly aging population and a lack of younger generations to take their place, Latvia's demographic clock is ticking faster than most. Next up at number three is Lithuania. Like its neighbor Latvia, Lithuania is also suffering from a serious case of population decline. The country is experiencing a significant brain drain with many of its young and educated citizens seeking opportunities abroad, leaving behind an older, more dependent population. And at number two, we have Bulgaria. This southeastern European nation is facing a sharp decline in its population due to the combination of low birth rates, high death rates, and emigration. With a dwindling workforce, Bulgaria's economy and social services are under severe strain. Now, prepare yourself for the fastest dying country in Europe. And now, the moment you've been waiting for. The fastest dying country in Europe is Bulgaria. This small southeastern nation holds the dubious honor of having the most severe population decline across the entire continent. Since the fall of communism in the late 20th century, Bulgaria's population has been shrinking at a rapid pace. Contributing factors include a low birth rate, high death rate, and a substantial wave of emigration. Many Bulgarians, especially the younger generation, are seeking better opportunities abroad, leaving behind a dwindling and aging population. The government's efforts to reverse this trend have so far proved unsuccessful. It's a demographic crisis that not only impacts Bulgaria's economic stability and social fabric, but also sets a worrying example for other European nations facing similar challenges. This concludes our countdown. But what does this all mean for Europe and the world at large? The rapid population decline in Europe is not just a number game. It has profound implications, rippling across various aspects of life and society. It's like a stone cast into a pond. The initial splash is obvious, but the ripples? They're far-reaching, subtle, yet significant. 
Consider the economy, for starters. A shrinking population often translates to a shrinking workforce. Fewer people working means fewer goods produced, fewer services provided, and less overall economic output. Simultaneously, the proportion of elderly people increases, leading to increased pressure on social security systems. Economies may find themselves stuck in a slow growth trap, a scenario that's as sticky as it is tricky. Then there's the social structure. As populations dwindle, so does the richness and diversity of communities. Smaller towns and villages risk becoming ghost towns, their vibrancy replaced by silence. The cultural fabric of societies is stretched thin, potentially leading to a loss of cultural heritage and identity. Internationally, a declining population can shift the balance of power. Countries that were once economic powerhouses may find themselves struggling to maintain their influence. On the flip side, countries with growing populations could find themselves in the driver's seat, dictating the terms of global politics and economics. Last but not least, there's the environmental angle. A declining population could be a boon for the environment, with less pressure on natural resources and potentially lower carbon emissions. However, it's not a guaranteed win. After all, consumption patterns and technology play a crucial role in determining our environmental footprint. As we move forward, it's crucial to recognize these challenges and work towards sustainable solutions. The dynamics of population change are complex and multifaceted, but they're not beyond our understanding or our control. Let's not see this as a doomsday scenario, but rather as a call to action, an impetus to innovate, adapt, and create a future that's sustainable for all. No matter the size of our population, our potential is unlimited.